On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new SMG, the Superi 46. Let's go test it out. So not only are we testing this bad boy out here, but we're also going to be getting all the camos for it. And some of them are actually pretty nice. So what I'm really looking forward to here is the do the wave camo. It kind of reminds me of how like Target used to be set up back in the day with all those neon lights going across it. And honestly, for these new weapons they've added into season four, the base camos for them have been really nice. But before we start grinding the camos for this, I want to test this bad boy out. And so far, an upgraded unpack a punch. Does pretty decent against some tier one zombies, as I would hope. What about against some tier two zombies? Here's an armored one. It can still take them out. Takes a few shots, but you can take a take one out with like half a mag if they're armored. Maybe a little bit less if they're not. And how about against some tier three zombies? Let's throw a quick decoy here. Do we have a fully armored in the midst? There he is. What are we doing against him? Ooh, not a whole lot. I don't think we can break his armor without pack a punching. There we go. Finally broke his helmet and we're doing a small amount of damage. Oh, but we, we're definitely going to need pack-a-punch. I just like to test and see if, uh, you know, there's anything promising without doing all the pack-a-punch and everything. But let's go ahead and get a legendary. Let's get it pack three. So that gives us an 80 round mag, 360 bullets in reserve. Seems to be taking down Hellhounds well. Mimic also going down pretty fast. The crit damage on it seems all right so far. And uh, the zombies damage, still about the same. They're they're messing me up. What are we doing against these normal zombies now? Ooh, seems to struggle a bit against armor. But without it, I can take them out pretty quick. But since I've already gone down in tier three, I need to make my way back to tier two. And we're going to go test this on some HVTs over here so I can uh, get a few self revives back. All right, how are we doing against this tier two HVT mimic? Let's get them outside. That way we don't go down. Oh, and it's draining his health pretty quick. Not bad. That was a pretty fast kill. Now let's go ahead and throw our perks on. I'm going to throw on Brain Rot because we need to do it for our camo challenge. And I'm going to wait a little bit before we put on our MAGA holding. I want to see what this is like reloading. A reload on it right here without speed call. Honestly, not the fastest. Like it starts fast, but it's like he, he misses the hole with the mag and you got to go for an extra second. So we'll see once we get speed call. And outside of our toxic damage kills, we need to get some tax stance kills and our just 250 normal kills. So I'm going to try to just clear out the stronghold real quick while using tax stance. Now, I'm not seeing any more bounties, so I'm going to do a quick outlast. We can kill two birds with one stone here. Get a little bit of camel progress and get some money. Oh, maybe not because this is a stronghold. Awesome. Why does this always happen? Is there any mark camps nearby? We need to get mercenary kills anyways. All right, gentlemen, sorry to ruin your day, but uh, you guys got a key that I need. And we need camo progress from you. So uh, cough it up. This is doing pretty well against mercs. Kills them pretty fast. Honestly, I was pretty surprised by this when using it in multiplayer in Warzone. It's not bad at all. And so far in zombies, it looks like to be the case here as well. So give me that key. I know that we completed that side quest. Let me in here. Nope. Not that. In here. There we go. We're going down, Mercs. Where are you hiding the safe at? Let me in there. Reinforcements on the way. More kills for me. Everything always goes the opposite of how I say it goes. I'm like, you know what? We're going to go test this out first, then grind the camos. But the camos came to me. It's fate. Hold on a second. Does this mean what I think it means right here? If we step over here by where the safe is and stay against this wall, it's almost like we're not in the outlast. Is this the new colonel's office? If the zombie tracking works, this could be. Let me grab my reward from this. And let's start it up and test it. You know what? Good thing it was a stronghold here because we might have just found something out. We might have just did something. Yep, right here it stops progress. Progress is going down. Is there literally any zombies? Oh, here they come. Here comes one. Here comes a few actually. You just stand right here. And knock them out. But not a whole lot are spawning at once or like at all. We killed five zombies and then they stopped. Eh, it's working a little bit. I just had to edge the contract at like 54% so elites would spawn. This would be so much better if there's just a, a fat horde of zombies chasing me. Whatever, let's just end this contract and take this into tier three. They don't want to cooperate. I hate this contract, but we're going to do it anyways because it's the only contract available right now in tier three. And now what's our reload looking like with speed cola? A bit faster, obviously. Nothing extraordinary, though. Still kind of seems a bit slow. Bars. So far, the reload and the ammo don't really feel like an issue. Like, I just took out a decent amount of zombies there with one clip and then reloading, and it's all back to back to business. And I did say the ammo hasn't been an issue, but we're starting to run low. We only had 30 bullets there at the end. And we actually picked up a decent amount right there. I guess we'll see once we fight a boss. What's the max amount of ammo we have? Let's see. 
Ooh, only 360 in reserve. That's not the greatest. So what? This is like like 440 with a uh, mag of holding. I don't want to use mine yet until we can fight an abomination without it. So let's go find one of those boys. But while we're running around looking for a mega abomination, the movement speed on this isn't half bad. I feel like I'm flying. Like here's what our sprint looks like. Just fists out. And then let's recharge our tax sprint. And this is what it looks like with the gun out. There's barely any difference. But since I'm not seeing any abominations anywhere, let's hope we get one in this bounty right here. Oh, it's a disciple. Damn it. Oh, well, still a tier three HPT. Oh, and this whole horde of zombies right here is no problem at all. We are slaying them. Absolutely mowing them down. This actually might compete with the FJX. Come here, disciple. How are we doing against you? Little Aether Shroud. Can we break your mask? There we go, finally. Took a lot of shots, though. How much damage are we doing now? Stop you from healing. That's, it's draining his shit. We're getting right through that health. Ooh, these zombies are really hurting, though. I need you guys to stay back. Actually, you know what? Disciple, keep spawning in zombies. We can get some camo progress on you. Ain't no problem. Oh, maybe it is, because we're out of ammo. Yeah, the, the low ammo count on this is going to be a, a problem, actually. I, I take back everything I said. The damage on it's good, though, so it's, it's making up for it a bit, but it's going to get annoying. At least we can drain his health. We're messing him up. We keep staggering him whenever we can actually land some shots. Damn it, zombies. Every time I try to talk good about a weapon, the zombies are there to knock me over. It don't matter to me. You're still going to die. We don't need tax stance for you. Night, night. Not bad, dude. Maybe we'll get lucky and this one will be an abomination. Oh, it's a mimic. I feel like if you don't get an abomination on your first bounty in tier three, you're not getting one. At least we got the right ammo mod for him. Let's mess him up. Absolutely draining his shit. I don't know what my uh, fascination with draining it is today, but that's all we're doing. Bro's health is getting milked. Quick little Aether Shroud, and this should end it right here. See you later, pal. Thanks for playing. Now give me my money. Wait. All right, you get one hit in. That's it. That's all you get. Night, night. Well, I guess this is Abomination's too pussy to show up. Let's just use our MAGA holding now. Oh, of course. The second I use it, he shows up. All right, pal. Smart ass. Let's try this out against you. I got 140 bullets to work with right now, but we broke a face immediately. Uh, let's try to take some of these zombies out so we can get some ammo. Go ahead and drop some for me. I'm not even worried about you, Abomination. You are not a threat. Unless you shoot a laser. Then we'll focus on you. Shit. Did we break a face? Did we trade? Nope. We did not trade. Listen, buddy. I'm sick of this. There we go. Broke the face. Now oh, we got a mimic out here. How much backup do you need? There's another laser. I gotta take cover here because I'm pretty sure I'm out of self revives. We are doing some nice damage, even at range. I'm sure we do way more up close. Let's try to get an Aether Shroud and see. I'll still pepper him with damage. Oh, we don't even need to be close. Oh, here comes another laser. Can we get him from here? Yup. Night, night, pal. Thanks for playing. This thing's even nasty at long range. It can't be stopped. Let's go get a self-revive before I forget and we go down and lose everything. Or maybe three of them. Oh, shit. I almost forgot my, about my camos. Those are 250 kills. Uh, we still need mercenary kills. And I have a stronghold key card. So where's the stronghold at this game? Non-existent. All right. We just got to go find... Uh, Literally anywhere else. So I still need 10 more Merc kills. Let's just be smart about this and do a protect the server mission. We should get some Mercs for this. Oh, and there's a 250 kills of toxic damage. There's our kills while in tax stance. Now we just need the Mercs to show up. That should do it. Let's go. That's all of our base camos. And is tier three more open now? It looks like it. Let me knock out another contract or two before the storm takes it over. We got one last shot at that tier three HVT abomination. And we got a mangler. All right. We got the trifecta of elites here. We should make quick work out of this dude. Come on. Break that helmet. There it is. Start piling on the damage. Throw a decoy. And we already got him to half health. Come on. Just go down. Mimic, I don't have time for you. Oh, shit. All right. But oh, you're dead. Don't matter. One down's nothing. What you got for me? Also nothing. Okay, maybe two downs is something. Let's do this weapon cash contract just for a little bit more cash. And what's the max ammo we're at with this? Yeah, 440. That's terrible. And I have all the attachments on to make it so we have the highest ammo capacity possible. Dude, let me out of here. No! No, 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 no. Are we out of revives? Is there anybody else left in the game? No! Well, shit, dude. I guess it's, I get what I deserve. There's some people left in the game, but there's no way they're coming into the storm to get me. They're out of here. So I get for being greedy. <sighs> All right, well, I'll just hop right in. Tier three, pack three. We'll get this done. Well, at least we get to take a peek at this camo, and I was right. This looks nice. 
Would you look at that? We actually got that HPT abomination we've been looking for. How are we doing against you? Oh, we're doing fantastic. Barely even got to shoot his laser there. We're melting him. Yeah, there you go. Shoot another one. See what happens. Oh, you might knock me is what might happen. Nope. We survived it. And we broke his face a little late there. That was weird. Come on, just one more laser is all we're looking for. Thank you. Um, assuming we don't run out of ammo right here, this should do it. Nope, we're very close to. Let's, uh, pick some up. Why don't we? Oh, and he gave us a retry. Appreciate you. Night, night. And we're still pretty early into the game. Is the Stormcaller here this time? There's no way he's dead again. Can't be. Where you at, bastard? I see DNA stuff on the ground. Did somebody already kill him? For real? Damn, Stormcaller, you can't catch a break, can you? Unless he just spawned. What was that sound? Oh, there he is! Our guy! Hold on. Quick little monkey bomb. Let's get your mask broken. And let's start shredding you. Ooh, his health's going down so fast. We do have a little bit of dead wire for the assist. But we already got him to half health. Let's throw another monkey bomb. Keep these zombies away from me. And let's finish the job. Oh, he can't do anything. We keep staggering him. No healing, no nothing. Just death. Wait. Just death. There we go. Give me that skull. Backpack is full. Bars. Let's get out of here. Good thing we stuck around a little bit longer there. We would have missed him. But now we can finally make it to the Dark Aether. I need to redeem myself for our blunder last game. I'm going to complete this entire Dark Aether. And then I'm going to beat the shit out of the boss. Looks like they haven't really uh, changed the texture stuff. The bridge still disappears. Is this tree going to dance for us? No, you don't feel like dancing today. All right. Whatever tree. Don't matter because we're going to activate this bad boy. Give me that. We're completing this escort. No VR-11 required. I almost like this weapon more at tax stance. I, I feel like I'm way more accurate. Maybe I just need to use tax stance more. So far, it's holding up. The ammo count's like an issue, but the damage is not. We are tearing through these hordes. We just need an elite with a nuke in them to spawn. Oh, right on time. Drop it. Thank you. Let's keep it moving. Let's get it in position. I'm throwing a decoy immediately. Going to grab more. And I'm switching to my cashmere's now. Leave it alone. Cashmere, go. Why don't you have a nuke in you? Oh, you do. Perfect. Let's keep this up. 69%. That's the lucky number. Aether Shroud on him. No, we brain rotted the Mimic that we needed the nuke from. Fuck, dude. That's all right. We still got this. Put it in position. Put on the cashmere. Ring around the family pocket full of shells. We're still making it. 54%. We got two more cashmere's. In a dream. And a fucking mimic sitting in front of it. Stop. Oh, no. We have no ammo. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that cashmere. We're going to set to roll with it. We got us a nuke. So I guess it's fine. Not really. We got a cluster mine. I'm going to throw this down immediately. Anything in here that we can use? Nope. We need this nuke. Now more than anything. There we go. Oh, let me at it. Let me at it. Let me at it. There we go. 12%. No, dude. Oh, 8%. Keep moving. 3%. No ammo. No fucking ammo at all. None. Drop me some, zombies, please. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. Oh, it's over. That's fine, though. From what you guys were telling me in the comments, is that we don't need to complete this. We can use PhD on those spores when the contract's done or when we're done doing all the contracts regardless if we complete them and we should still be able to open it i want to see if we can do it just after doing one though i did some damage to it Ooh. okay so we don't need to do any of the contracts you can get these broken right away you know what since we're in the middle let's just do it we'll get the other contracts done after Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. You know what? We'll do the contracts. We'll play it. We'll play it your way. All right. Chill, 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 chill. We'll do it the right way. And we just need to do the contract that is open to the spore. So give me that. Now let's go take on the abomination. Let's get to work on them. There you go. Face gone. Easy. Aether shroud so we can calm the fuck down. That did not calm them down. Might have made them even more mad. And I'm throwing a thermite. I have no idea if we even broke a face with that. I hope we did. 
Oh, shit. We're getting our ass beat. How many self-revives we have? One left. So I am cheesing the fuck out of this guy. I just need him to shoot another laser. There it is. There's a thermite for you. And I hope that kills him. It did. Awesome. I need a cashmere here to even have a second to think and grab my stuff. Oh, there we go. Two more self-revives. That's what we want. You know, well, we only wanted one of them, actually. Enjoy a cluster mine. You bitches. Start up the last contract. And let's hope we survive it with uh, some self-revives left. Or just get someone out of this contract. Because this boss fight's going to be tough. I feel like this gun's going to do well against it. But all the other zombies are what the pro is what the problem is. I can't even start up the contract yet. Oh, shit. And we already had to use a self-revive. We need a nuke before we can do anything. So zombies start dropping them. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Start her up. There we go. Another one. Bam. That's what we like to see. Keep them coming. Oh, shit. I'm stressed. They keep dropping me thermites like crazy. So I'm gonna keep throwing them like crazy. We'll eat the shroud too. Take care of you. I'm, I just can't be stopped. I'm spitting like crazy. Oh, and a cashmere. We'll save that for the boss fight. This insta-kill can get us the rest of the way. Anything good from that? Deadwire detonators. I'll take it. Now we should be able to open this bad boy up and take it out. So that's two spores down. Hopefully we don't have to redo the other one that we grabbed earlier. Come on, let's take the spore out. The middle one should be good to go now. There's just so many elites. I might actually activate our deadwire detonators now. We gotta find some like gas grenades or something. This is ridiculous. I just got 100 kills with a melee weapon somehow. All right, what do we got on the ground? Molly, easy, I'll take that. And the rift heart is broken. I'm throwing a molly right away. Let's stop him from healing. Throwing a decoy. Broke his mask and he's spawning his guys in. All right. We, we got as much damage as we could there at the start. And it actually wasn't even bad. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. Holy shit. We almost got ourselves killed there. This disciple has a nuke in him, but we went down. No. I think we still have one more self-revive. Maybe. No, we have none. Do we even risk it? Do we stay and fight him? There's a chest up here. If there's a self-revive in it, we will. Nope. Shit. I can't go two games dying. We gotta go. We gotta leave. We'll get them after we get bioluminescent. You win this round, buddy. I'm out of here. Let's hope we got enough kills to get a golden ivory. So much for redeeming ourselves, but we got the we got the tools to hop right back in. Did we even get it, golden ivory? Oh, thank God. All right, this time we're playing for real. The last two games didn't count. I'm gonna get my Zircon scale and my Serpent tonight. Then we're gonna go back to the Dark Aether and I will kill that boss. All right, I got no idea if we got our Zircon scale yet. But we're going to go to the Dark Aether anyways. We got to be close. If not, I already have it. And then for our Serpent tonight, there's no way we don't get it there. There's way too many elites. Oh, there's our Zircon scale. I don't know how that didn't show up throughout our whole time playing. But we finally got it. And there's plenty of elites to go around. Some might say there's way too many. As long as we got a camo to get, there's the perfect amount. Oh, and there's our Serpent tonight. Easy. So we got this Borealis now. Fuck me. We're going to go down again. So we're going to have to do this with one self-revive. This is ass. Let me out. Let me get that nuke. There we go. We started it up. No healing. Aether Shroud. No spawning. Fuck. You don't like to listen. Beautiful. There we go. Double nuke. He still got one goon left over. And he's dying right here. There we go. Let's pull out the cashmere. Toss it. We got an insta-kill too. Stop him from healing. Oh, no. Why we had to reload? Bad time. But we are draining his health. We stunned him as well. All right. Back on the move. That should be one down. Another stun. Let's not let him heal. Keep stunning him. That should be two down. Oh, we got to get move out of this area now. Aether Shroud, perfect timing. Just in time for this nuke. We'll hit these guys with a molly. That should take the rest of them out. Perfect. And he should be ripe for the killing. Ooh! This is just demolishing his health. Night, night, buddy. Let's fucking go. Woo! That was stressful as hell. Holy shit, we got it done. We did it. I'm throwing a cashmere to make sure I'm safe while I'm grabbing this. And we got literally nothing out of this. Nothing but stress. And let's get the hell out of here. Monkey bomb, you're staying. 
That was tough. I, I cannot believe the amount of mistakes I made today, but the gun still shreds. It, it might not be one of the strongest weapons in the game, but it's up there. It can compete. I think the FGX might actually edge it out. No gooning. But damage-wise, pretty good. Took out that Discipled boss pretty fast. Was taking out Mega Abominations before they could even really shoot their laser on the first one. And it can hold its own in Tier 3 and above. As long as uh, someone else besides me is wielding it. Anyways, now that we don't have a HUD, here's a better look at our Ride the Wave camo. It is beautiful and it fits in perfectly here on the Tokyo map. The nice neon lights on it just really stand out. I love it. One of my new favorite base camos. And this is another one of the base camos for it. And it's almost Damascus-esque. It's really got like the vibrance of that blue and the red down like Damascus had. And it's got kind of a fun secondary color. It's a bit out there. It's a bit weird, but it, it, it brings back the warm tinglies that uh, Damascus brings. And of course, here's Borealis on it. Honestly, just the way this gun is built, it looks so nice, so sleek. I, I really like the design of it. It's got some like nice sharp corners around it, some uh, nice accents around it with uh, the holes cut out through the barrel and near where the receiver is. The way the magazine looks and everything, it's just a really nice looking gun. So overall, if we ignore how awful I was playing, the weapon still did its job. It was doing some nice damage in all the zones, taking out any boss that we went up against, and it even survived through the Dark Aether, even if it was just barely hanging on by a thread. So is this the best SMG in the game? I don't think so. I think it's, it's definitely up there, one of the best, but I think the FJ still might beat it out especially since i think it just got buffed but it's still not a bad weapon i recommend giving it a try but i think that's all i got for you guys today i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later